Today I'm going to walk you through the steps of installing 360 chain roll on a John Deere 2012 and older corn head. With the removal process, you're going to start just like you did with the 600 new. You're going to take the trash knives off and then we're going to back off our nuts off of the shafts on the OEM rolls. Um, we want to keep our bolts from the trash knives and we want to keep our washer that goes on the shaft from the OEM rolls. The nut you can discard, you get a new one with the uh, package from 360. Also, this is a good time while your old rolls are off to inspect these shafts for damage, uh, wear, tear gearboxes, check them while you're right here, everything's open, uh, clean everything off really well, um, and just take the time and inspect it. Okay, now that we have our shafts inspected and cleaned off, we check the threads, I'm gonna put a little uh, anti-seize on the taper. This shaft, I'm going to install these 360 chain roll. It's the same way from the seat is the right and the left. Our timing marks, I'm going to keep the flutes together if you can do them both at the same time. Shove them on until they seat all the way back. Take your round washer again, the flat face to the outside. And then your new M20 flange nuts that come from 360. Now remember these have a one-time thread patch on them. If you go to take them off, you need to put a blue thread locker back on them. Okay, with our chain roll on and seated, we have our nuts on. We wanna go ahead and tighten these up to 90 foot pounds on these 600 old row units. So we're gonna use our chunk of wood, go to 90. We're gonna repeat that for the other side. Okay, with both sides to 90 foot pounds, we're gonna go the 60 degree turn like again like we did. So mark a corner of the nut and the roll. Use our breaker bar, our two by four again. And we wanna go a whole flat. There's our 60 degree flat and we'll repeat that for the other side. Okay, now with our nuts torqued down with our extra 60 degrees, uh, we're ready for our install our cap screws. You may have to turn these rolls a little bit by hand. Okay, with your cap screws in, you're gonna go ahead and torque these. And they're going to go to 67 pounds. Then you're going to repeat that for the rest of the remaining cap screws. Okay, with our cap screws torqued down and our flange nuts torqued down, I like to give these rolls a spin to make sure nothing hits and everything clears. Uh, make sure my cutting flute stayed lined up. Um, if you rotate these and you do have a ping, you need to take them back off and rotate the shafts 180 degrees, reinstall them, and try to spin them again. Okay, with our 600 old chain roll installed and torque to specs, we're now gonna go ahead and put our trash knives on. Um, if you have a 600 old head that does, is not chopping, you can lightly rework your OEM knives and make them work. Uh, if you have a chopping head, you cannot. You have to buy the 360 trash knives. I'm just gonna put these up, start a bolt, leave it loose, put the rest of the bolts in. Once again, we wanna be about a quarter of an inch away from the cutting flute. you have your trash knives 
snugged up and a quarter inch away from your cutting flute, go ahead and tighten them up the rest of the way. We're gonna move over to the other side. Okay, with our M12 bolts reinstalled through our new trash knives and our rolls tightened and torqued to specs, this completes the installation of the 360 chain roll on a 600 old head.